people that made it. Stick around. <laughs> Not only does this bad boy chuck some clouds, but it chucks some flavor. Superb flavor. Um, for as big as it is, the flavor is spectacular, you guys. Yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. I like the looks of it. I love the deck. And, hell yes, I would buy this again if I lost it. The Blotto, my friends, was sent over to me from healthcabin.net. They've got good customer service. They've got good deals. They've always got something going on. They have some of the best giveaways, and um, all in all, they're just they're just good folk over there. Head on over there, check out their deals. I mean, they're still having good deals left over from Christmas. They've got a thing they call their weekly sale. There's usually anywhere from ten to fifteen or more um, pieces of gear, including e-liquid with even uh, Nick salts um, in the liquid and we're talking 80 to 90 percent off on some of these things so yeah it's worth checking out healthcabin.net <laughs> the bot the blotto okay so what in the hell that's a weird name blotto and so I watched uh, vaping bogan's video on it because you know I wanted to see what he had to say about it and how he would wick it and all this and that and how he would build it and so he says yeah you know it's shaped after a beer bottle hence the name blotto and i'm like huh so i looked it up and it's actually in the dictionary <laughs> and it means to be drunk to get drunk so hey let's get blotto to bitches so I got it sitting on top of the uh, Vaporesso Gen. And I put a different drip tip on it to match the RDA. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It, it, it looks good on here. Even though it's black, you know. And the skull. I, I'm not a fan of this particular skull. But it looks good, man. It looks good. I... I the whole thing looks good. I like it. It comes with some some cool stuff. Um, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit here and, and go down and build it. Check it out. Uh, um, it comes with its skull, right? And it's a um, bottle opener, apparently. Uh, right there. And also, it's supposed to be to measure... It's a, you're supposed to be able to measure your the legs on your coils. And I'll show you how you do that here. Alright, so my coil. Um, by the way, coils made by Dave Flowers. And you can go onto Instagram, Dave Flowers9. I'll leave a link to see some of his work. He, he's really good. You can go over there give them a follow if yeah. you would right and then you snip them right here bing bing and it works and if you get thirsty coca-cola classic can't be the real thing right there, doesn't it? <laughs> I wonder if I can
can get Coca-Cola to uh, sponsor this video. It's not the best um, can opener in the world. Personally, I'd rather use a lighter. No, where, where was I? No clue. So yeah, it's a neat little thing. It's it's neat. Uh, that's all I can say about it. I'm not. I'm never gonna use it again. Now, before we go down and um, and build it, for you, for those of you that like lots of airflow, this isn't gonna be for you, unfortunately. But if you like flavor and a slightly restricted lung hit, you're gonna freaking love this. If you're about flavor, bam, you're gonna like this, cause wow, it really has good flavor. It's one of the best RTAs I've ever used. And that's saying a lot, cause I love RTAs, and um, the Vaping Bogan and Dove Pulp, let's just hit this one out of the park. Believe it or not, this thing vapes good. In single coil, vapes fabulous. Great flavor. And in dual coil, it vapes freaking wonderfully with spectacular flavor. Either or. I will tell you this though. Anything under three inner diameter, three millimeters inner diameter, is not going to be that great. And. Let's get into the dog pole, man. Okay, I love it. Here we go. I left well, that coil on there. So you can see how easy it was to take out. 0.59, almost 0.6 ohms. Which is right where I like it. I don't need a lot of power. And I just need a consistent vape. And I still get a nice warm vape out of that. So, let's take her down, shall we? does use some pretty cheap, unfortunately, uh, flathead screws. And you can already see how they're starting to get uh, deformed. See what it is. 0.23 ohms. That's nice. Actually, let's burn it a little bit. Still kind of gold. There we go. Perfect. It looks really bright on the camera, but it's not. I mean, it's actually perfect. Hey man, how nice was that? <laughs> Okay, 
this is the most important part right here, you guys. Okay. This stuff is really thin, so I'm not going to comb it out. I do that because there's all of these little things. You see that? I hate that. Little fibers. There's cotton in the corners, or you're gonna flood it. Alright? Now, you don't want like this. You, that's okay, like that. Because that'll puff out. Now, right here, you, you want to make sure that you don't choke it off. You want to have some space between the cotton and the frame right there. Mostly, you want to make sure you get it all the way into the corners because it will puff out. That's an important part right there. And all RTAs have a little bit of a learning curve. But with these floating decks, it's way easier than it used to be in the old days. And yet another change of clothes. Uh, my volume wouldn't sync up, so you know, that's where we're at right now. 0.26 ohms with that dual coil uh, at 2.5 inner diameter. It's got a restricted lung hit. 66.6 .6 watts. I suck at that, don't I? Oh well, what can you do? The blotto, my friends. Totally loving it. I'm sorry, but I'm not giving this one away. I'm keeping this one. I like it. It's gonna be it's already in my rotation and it's gonna stay there. Got a new liquid that I used when if you look if you watched my Innovera video. I used a gentleman in this one. I call it Jean Cream. Or Cream Your Jean. No, no. No, I didn't say that. It's good. So, take it. <laughs> However you want from there, anyways. Tandy Man signing out.